this note, I wanted to move on to uh, Tim Holy, who will be uh, presenting the uh, Julia Community Prizes. All right. Uh, thanks again, uh, 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 Jeff and Stefan, for a fantastic and exciting talk, uh, both about where we've come and where we're going. Um, I am here as the representative of of a committee um, of uh, Alan Edelman, Curtis Boat, and myself, who have the exciting uh, task of selecting award winners for the Julia Community Prize. And these were, uh, we solicited nominations and we got a very large number of nominations. And one of the things that, you know, I think, uh, I hope everyone understands is, is that, you know, this is, it's, it's, uh, a, a very difficult thing to choose. There's so much exciting work that's going on in the community by so many fantastic people um, that uh, you know, it, choosing is choosing is a very a very difficult task. So if you if you aren't awarded today, despite Herculean and really important contributions, just wait. We're still hoping to get to you. Um, we really really have a long list of of, of people that we'd like to be able to award. So we're awarding three people this year. The first is being awarded because of his work on uh, supporting Julia's ability to interact with external libraries, uh, Binary Builder and Yeg Drassel, um, and also providing outstanding support on user forums. First prize goes to Mose Giordano. <laughs> the second prize is given for a remarkable package loop vectorization, which delivers state-of-the-art uh, performance on a growing range of demanding computational tasks. And he also has very effectively instructed the community on the myriad factors that determine CPU performance and how to improve it. The second prize goes to Chris Elrod. And the final prize. The final prize is for her contributions to growing the community through an outstanding series of data science courses and for her outreach to many other organizations evangelizing Julia. We, we award Huda Nassar. Thank you all for your remarkable contributions to the language and the ecosystem and the community that we value so much. I also wanted to say that we're thinking of making some changes uh, for, to the community prize next year. There are, have been a growing number of cases where we've noticed it's difficult to choose one person who's contributed to something. And so we're thinking about trying to grow the prize to include teams of people next year. Um, and these are monetary prizes. Um, and so we want to be able, if, if at all possible, to boost the amount of the award we can give out also when we award more people. Um, so this is all something we're going to be discussing over time. But if, if, if you have financial resources and are interested in supporting this, we, we hope to, to talk to you about this. So anyway, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, uh, I look forward to an exciting next year from the community. <laughs>